The Disaster Artist, My Life Inside the Room, The Greatest Bad Movie Ever Made by Greg Sestero is a captivating memoir that offers a unique perspective on the creative process, the nature of friendship, and the pursuit of dreams within the chaotic world of Hollywood. Sestero's narrative style, characterized by candid storytelling, humor, and insight, makes this book an engaging and thought-provoking read. At its core, The Disaster Artist is a tribute to the cult classic film, The Room, written, directed, and produced by the enigmatic Tommy Wiseau. Wiseau's eccentric personality and questionable filmmaking skills led to the creation of a movie that has been celebrated for its unintentional humor and criticized for its many flaws. Sestero, who played the character Mark in The Room, takes the reader on a journey behind the scenes of this cinematic train wreck, providing a first-hand account of the bizarre and tumultuous production. One of the central themes of the book is the nature of friendship and the extent to which we are willing to go to support our friends, even when their dreams seem implausible. Sestero's friendship with Wiso is a complex and often perplexing one, as he is both inspired and baffled by Wiseau's unwavering determination to make a name for himself in Hollywood. Sestero's loyalty to his friend leads him to become deeply involved in the production of The Room, even when it becomes evident that the project is spiraling out of control. This theme underscores the power of friendship and the lengths to which one may go to support a friend's passion, no matter how misguided it may appear to others. Furthermore, the disaster artist provides valuable insights into the creative process and the sacrifices required to achieve one's artistic goals. Wiseau's relentless pursuit of his vision, no matter how unconventional or misunderstood, is a testament to the idea that art is subjective, and one person's masterpiece can be another's disaster. Sestero's willingness to participate in The Room, despite its many challenges illustrates the notion that artists often face criticism, rejection, and failure before finding success. Sestero's recounting of the struggles and bizarre incidents that occurred during the film's production highlights the dedication and perseverance required to bring a creative project to fruition. Humor plays a significant role in the narrative, providing levity to the often chaotic and perplexing events described in the book. Sestero's wry and self-deprecating humor endears the reader to his experiences and makes the book an entertaining read. The absurdity of Wiseau's behavior and the peculiar dynamics on the film set are portrayed with a sense of amusement, allowing readers to find humor in the most challenging situations. This use of humor serves to emphasize the surreal nature of the events and characters, making the story all the more captivating. The Disaster Artist also explores the concept of identity and the search for self-acceptance in the cutthroat world of Hollywood. Wiso, a mysterious figure with an ambiguous background, is a symbol of the outsider, someone who does not fit the conventional mold of a Hollywood star. Sestero's portrayal of Wiseau's struggle to gain acceptance and recognition as an artist and actor resonates with anyone who has ever felt like an outsider or a misfit. The book reminds us that success and recognition often come to those who dare to be different and are unapologetically themselves. In conclusion, The Disaster Artist by Greg Sestero is a fascinating literary work that delves into the unconventional world of Hollywood and the eccentric personality of Tommy Wiseau. Through Sestero's storytelling, readers gain insights into the nature of friendship, the creative process, the pursuit of dreams, and the importance of humor in navigating life's challenges. This memoir serves as a testament to the power of friendship, the resilience of the human spirit, and the idea that even the greatest disasters can lead to unexpected and enduring forms of art.